So here's the film cutter, and I've just cut a length of film off, and if you just just peel it now. you end up with a nice strip of film that will fit the Minox camera. Okay. And just in your fingers, just wind it back like that. You've got to make sure you've got really dry hands. Okay, or you could wear cotton gloves. Okay. And then just roll it up. So the motion's on the inside. What what to do is make a length of film the length of what you want. So what I've done is because you have to do this in the dark, I've actually got a piece of string here so that um, in the dark you can just cut the ends off to a square end like that, and then you can actually measure the string against the length of film like that okay and then that should give you 36 exposures and then if you just cut it off at that end like that and the spare film can go in your can way like that and then you cut you cut length of film, which we've just done, like that. You can just roll that up nice and tight, like that. And then that can just go into a Minox box like that. And then that's done in the dark, of course. And that film's ready then to put into a cassette. Okay, so here we have a Minox cassette. Okay, the cassette goes in the camera like that. Okay, I've got one here, but there's a film in this, so just to show you, the film actually goes in like that. Let's put that back in. Okay. This is an outdated film, so I can take this out. So if we look at an outdated film, okay, little tabs. You have to press in to get the tap, to get the taps top off. Okay. So remember the film goes in that way. Okay, we're turning it upside down. So we're taking the caps off. So I'm going to cap here. You just press in the side just to get that release the cap. Okay, and there's the film. Okay. So the film comes out. Okay, this is this is one I've done earlier. Okay. So if you put that in like that just get some tape same size as that okay and just feed that round okay. and that just goes in there like that 
on the other side. Just goes in there like that. And you can see what I'm doing. Like that. back on. It's a bit fiddly but you have to practice this to do it in the dark. That's it. And that you can set back together again. And that's ready then go into your camera. So with a bit of practice it's quite easy to cut your own film and put it into your own cassettes. Um, the only real problem really is dust. You know dust is um, the biggest problem so you know you need to do it in really in a dust free environment as you can. You put a box over it for example and make it light tight or in a light tight room that would be fine but you can see that um, on one 35 millimeter film you can get loads of film cut for a minox so it really does take the cost right down you know brings it back into pence instead of pounds if you try and buy a, a roll of minox film you're talking probably eight or nine pounds out of one roll so you know if you can manage to do this um, and with practice and care you can get you know good film um, the only thing I would mention is that um, just be a bit wary about 35 mil emulsions because they tend to be a bit thicker than Minox 8x11 negative film so it may be advantage just to make your um, films shorter than 36 